Hello, everybody. Welcome. I love coming on live with you every Thursday. Hey, we are going to create a couple of really fun cards. These are created with a sketch. All right. We're going to have a sketch idea. Can you see our sketch? So yeah, it's just all in which way you turn it. Um, so I've got a couple techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you as well. And uh, I'm I'm one of those that I'm just kind of getting excited to uh, create, to do some embossing. So we're going to do some heat embossing. We're going to do some dry embossing. And um, I'm very excited to share these. So I'll tell you what, I've got some friends with me today, as always. So we've got Christina. She's over there on Facebook. So she'll be um, answering any of your comments there. Brenda, she's over on YouTube. And she will be helping you as well. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to point out I am Team Gray. Just going yeah. there first thing. <laughs> we had a post that went out on Facebook and Instagram the other day. I posted a picture. I went and got my hair colored. Not my favorite thing in the world. And that was a stretch for me to go and put a picture like that out there, right? That's <laughs> definitely not like me. But uh, yeah, I uh, from what I gather from the comments, there are a lot of people who are Team Gray and Team Color. Um, for me, mine was, I used to frost my hair. You remember when you pull it through? The, I remember I used to do it for forever. you. <laughs> oh my gosh, forever. In fact, I think I was still doing it when everyone else had stopped doing it. I don't yeah. know. But yeah. Rich, I remember Rich did it for you. Rich, Rich used to, yes. Rich used to actually frost my hair when, you know, I would do it at home. <laughs> and, but yeah, then there was one day that my hairdresser said, all uh, right, she had frosted it. And I said, oh, wow, you went really blonde this time. And she's like, well, I've got to cover up your gray. And I was like, what? I, I have gray? I had no idea. She goes, well, that's because I try to hide it with all the blonde highlights. Well, then the day came. She's like, I can't cover it anymore. We have to There's color it. I never colored my hair in my life. So, yeah, for, I don't know, I guess, I don't even know how many years. I've had to start coloring and then highlighting my hair. So, yep. You got, you got to do it. But can I just say, for those of you that are team gray, I wish I could be on your team. My gray is that is, is not pretty. It's not bright. You know, if it were that bright gray, I'd probably be able to do it. But mine is just, I don't know. What's the word? Mousy gray. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But you know, when I, I started going gray when I was in my very early thirties because yeah. of some health issues. And it came in, I looked like a leopard. It was like spotty and so awful that I remember my daughter one day says to me, I'm like, should we keep coloring this? She goes, yeah. I said, well, what if I just go all gray? She's like, um, not now, mama. <laughs> okay, I trust you. But then when it finally started coming out with like, high, looks more like highlighted, I was right. like, oh, I can live with this now. Like but I said, I wish mine could do that. that now would that be I'm awesome. not the leopard. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, just so you know, we, we always like to kind of give our little disclaimer at the beginning. We do like to chat for a little bit before we get started. We want to give everyone a chance to get onto the live. Sometimes they're not in a position to drop what they're doing when they get that notification from YouTube. So we like to give everyone a chance to get on. We will get to some stamping. I promise you that. And as I always say, if the chatter's not for you, not a problem. Just scroll forward in the video, and when you get to the part where you see my hands, hey, guess what? That's when we'll start stamping. So um, we had this discussion actually last week, and I was just so thrilled. So many of you um, said the chatter is one of your favorite parts of the YouTubes. It is. It's just it's nice. We kind of get together. We get to relax. You know, if we were all stamping together in person, we wouldn't just sit down and start stamping, right? So No, we'd have a snack. We have to mm -hmm. snack, right? Maybe we need to yeah. add that to the repertoire in our lives after we're done. Okay, let's all go have now. Everyone go get a snack. <laughs> we all, I'll never turn down sugar. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys at home are having a little snack and um your coffee this morning or your beverage of choice. Yep. I uh, just finished my coffee and yeah, I'm I'm ready to get to stamping. So Yay. Should we go ahead and head over? Are yes. We do it. Yeah, we probably got everybody on here. All right. We are going to head back over here. And um, real quick, you guys know the drill on my videos. I always have a free download for you because I like for you to have the measurements and the supply list and 
And uh, you can always click or scan the QR code if you need to come back and watch the video, all your supplies. I said that this one was a sketch. So I do have a picture of the sketch for you here with those measurements. So this is a great thing for you to keep, right? This is, I know many of you print it out. Some of you just save it to your computer, whatever works for you. By the way, this is a, a photo of all the supplies that I use. You can click this and it will take you to my online store. And if you're in the United States, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just click here. You'll see all the supplies and you can order there. So I'd love to be your demonstrator. All right. You will find this download at simplysimplestamping.com or if you look down in the YouTube description, there's a direct link to today's post where you can find that. Um, Brenda and Christina will share the direct link as well. So are you guys ready to get started? So we are going to start with my favorite and it's because it's pink and it's pretty. I was inspired. Um, I saw a card on Pinterest. And you know what? I didn't find a person's name that it belonged to. I just saw the card, but I loved, can you see, let me just kind of zoom in because I want you to see how we have white embossing here and the bubble bath embossing here. So I thought that was just a really unique look. So I thought, yep, that's going to go perfect with my sketch for today. So let's create this card. I'll just set that there for you. Um, I'll go over uh, measurements and things very quickly. So I've got bubble bath card stock. This is a four, or I'm sorry, a uh, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Um, I got a couple more pieces of bubble bath. Let's see, we have got, uh, let's see, this is a two and an eight by four and seven eighths. This is a two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And what do we all say? We say, don't, don't hate the eights. Don't hate them. But I really wanted a really nice thin border on this one. So don't hate the eights. They are great. Great eights. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got some basic white cardstock. So these are layering pieces. Um, this is a two by four and three quarters a three by four. This one is optional. So if you want to add cardstock to the inside of your card, I know some people um, like to do that, but this bubble bath is a light enough color. You don't necessarily need it. You could write on that four by five and a quarter. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use, uh, I'm actually going to be using, I'm sort of using a bundle. All right. Sort of. I'm going to be using the Enduring Beauty bundle but this is actually the only die I'm going to use. So if you have any other label die, you could use it, or you could just cut a piece that's, oh, I'm going to guess about a two by three, or a one by three, one by two. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. So I can be really truthful with you. How about two and three quarters? So about a one by two and three quarters, and you could use that as well. And um, so we are going to start... We've got two ink pads, bubble bath and crumb cake. Guess what? I'm actually going to start with this crumb cake. All right. We're going to do this little label because I'm worried I'm going to forget about it. <laughs> it kind of sneaks in on me. So this card is going to say holding you close in my heart. And I'm going to stamp that right there in the middle. This is the three by four basic white. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut from the center of this with that die all right remember if you didn't have this you could just do this with a scrap of cardstock now i did go ahead and i did that in advance so i'm all ready to go but i thought the little this little label with the stitching was really cute so i wanted to go with that so we've got that ready here we go we are going to emboss all right i'm going to start let me bring in my great big stamp here and my Versa Mark ink pad, which is not here. Where did you go? There it is. Oh, this desk. All right, you guys know I always have to complain about my desk. Let me bring in some scratch paper so I don't get stuff everywhere. Tell you what, I'm going to start with my bubble bath. Okay, so this is the two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. I'm going to ink this up in some Versa Mark. You know what? I have got my computer at a really odd angle and I cannot read your comments. I always like to read your comments. Ramona, just thinking this card is stunning. I know. I think so too. It is. It's a really, really pretty one. 
All right, I'm going to stamp that in Versamark. And as you guys may already know, you can't see anything. Ton of invisible there. All right, I'm going to sprinkle this with clear embossing powder. Or no, 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 forgive me, white embossing powder. Got that one wrong. Let's try that again. <laughs> We're using clear and white because this one, we want it to be white. I'm going to go ahead and grab my reverse tweezers here. See if I can find a spot that doesn't have ink on it. Woo! It's like it's, bear with me there, guys. I just, I really cannot see <laughs> that Versamark with my bright lights. Okay, we are going to sprinkle this with white embossing powder. Okay, move this out of my way so I don't spill it. I'm gonna bring in my heat tool. It's gonna make some noise. You know, I'm gonna set this down here because I do like to try to um, heat up my heat tool for about 30 seconds. So let me see what you guys are up to. Brenda says she loves heat embossing. I think so many of us, um, when we were first introduced to stamping, it was heat embossing that really just kind of blew our mind. So what I'm gonna do, and I hope you can hear me over this noise, but I'm going to, just hold that kind of, oh, what am I, about three, four inches away. Do you see it melting? It's really magical. It's one of my favorite things. In fact, how about, oops, how about we zoom in? Because it is, it is so fun to watch. So just watch that embossing powder melt. It is beautiful. It's especially really, really nice here on this bubble bath. By the way, Stampin' Up! For demonstrators, we just got our brand new catalog that will be coming out May 1st. We have a new color pink called Pretty in Pink. You might remember it from many, 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 many years ago, and it's coming back. All right, we're going to finish melting this. All right. I think I got it all. Turn that off for you. All right. I'm going to set this off to the side because I want it to cool. All right. Now I'm going to come in with a piece of white cardstock. Oops, I'm going to zoom back out. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Can I just do one quick thing? Because, um, oh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. I, you know what? I'm trying to think in reverse. We've got the white on the pink, and then this is pink, and just getting myself all all, all over the place, but we're good. Okay, now we're gonna come in with the bubble bath. And, you know, I know this has some Ver Versamark on it, but I'm fine with that, so I'm not gonna clean it. But I'm gonna take that uh, longer piece of basic white. Now, this part is really important. I'm going to, let me move that. I'm gonna bring in my clear embossing powder because we are going to emboss this pink, this bubble bath ink. But to do that, you have to be ready to go. you got to work kind of fast. All right, so I'm going to get my embossing powder on my spoon. I want everything ready because once I stamp this, it's going to stay wet for just, just a few seconds, and I can sprinkle that embossing powder on it. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to stamp. I'm going to grab it. And like I said, I've got my embossing powder on the spoon. And I have that covered in clear embossing powder. So guess what that means? You can emboss in any color of Stampin' Up! ink, right? Any of them. It's going to work. We love this. Okay. We're going to heat emboss again. So I will read. Let me move this. I'm going to read some comments while we do some more heat embossing. Um... Oh, Brenda says, I think it might help that there was a little Versamark on your, on your stamp. You're right. A little bit of Versamark makes it just that little extra, extra sticky because that's what this, um, that's why, that's how we get this embossing powder to stick. We need to have just that little bit of sticky. And once again, let me go ahead and zoom in because I want you guys to see. Now this one, it's not quite as dramatic because we've got white cardstock, but can you see how we're getting the shine? Yeah, still in, in person, let me tell you, in person, it is beautiful. But I wanna make sure I'm getting all of that melted 
Patty says, hey, everyone. Glad you're here. Lori, I never knew you could boss the ink. Yeah, it's a fabulous little tip. But like I said, Lori, you've got to move fast, okay? You can't you can't mess around too much because you got to get it while that ink is still wet. But yeah, it's not a big deal to have everything kind of ready to go. All right. Let me take a look at that in the light and make sure I got everything. It's kind of sometimes it's just a little hard to tell with these bright lights. Okay, just hit this end a little bit more. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna go with it. All right. So again, I'm gonna now let this one sit over here. We'll let that one cool off. All right. Uh, let's do one more thing. I'm going to take, let me get the embossing powder off of there. I'm going to take my stamp one more time. This is the part that I said was optional. If you wanted to stamp or add a piece of cardstock to the inside. So again, in the bubble bath, I'm just going to stamp a little bit right there on the, on the edge of that. Okay. All right, friends. Now this card we're actually going to um, do a little dry embossing as well. I love to give a little bit of extra texture to my cards. So I'm gonna bring in, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Basics 3D Embossing Folder. There's three of them, but we're gonna use this really cool little kind of crosshatch one. So I'm gonna line that up with the score line. I'm gonna bring in my machine here. So if, this type of embossing is new to you. I'm going to use base plate one and plate four. So let me make sure I've got that lined up right on that score line. There we go. I'm going to put my plate four right on top. So do you guys have a favorite embossing uh, folder? I got a tip. Why, why am I not going? Oh my goodness. What did I do? Well, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know. Woo! That's just a tight one. That I was not expecting. I, oh, you know what I did? Oh, I know what I did. Give me a second here, guys. It's going to make a really loud pop. Oh, I'm so sorry to do that to you. I was just, I did not get myself centered up there. And it caught the, uh, it caught the side. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. Sorry about the little loud noise. Oh, as I always say, it's always when I'm on camera that things decide to do something a little bit wonky. Okay. So, give that another quick crease here. All right. We're ready to put this card together. I'm going to take my two pieces. They're all nice and cool now. And you remember this piece that we did our die cutting from? Like I said, you guys know I love to conserve my cardstock layers. And since I'm not doing any kind of writing or anything on this, for me, I'm like, well, why, why cover up that layer without using something from it? All right. We've got that. I'm going to add this to the front of my embossed card. So we'll add this right here. We're going to take this one and add it to the bubble bath. And again, if I needed something else die cut from this, I could die cut from this one as well because no one's gonna see it, all right? Let's bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to put Dimensionals, you know, let me see, I think I've got one. Dimensional bones are great on a card like this on these nice, long, straight ends. So if you have the little leftovers, these little leftovers, this is a great time to use them. So I just got that one sitting here. That's, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna put just a couple in here so we don't sag in the middle, kind of like I do. Just, just a little sag in the middle. <laughs> Welcome to over 50. Okay, let's see. Ramona says time worn is a great one. Yes, time. Love that embossing folder. Ooh, 
doggone it, guess what I did? See, I got busy talking and I wasn't quite ready because I need to add some ribbon. Sorry. You guys know I do this sometimes. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it here on my card. Uh, all right, we're gonna do it this way. Because I've already taken the backings off my dimensionals. Watch, I'm gonna find out this, this technique works even better. So, you know, we may end up just going for it. All right. I'm going to tie this Connie, in. Hang, Connie, hang on a second. You're, you're flashing <sighs> black. I am. I can see it now. Okay. Let's. Something, something's going on with your cord or something. Yeah. It's always. I, mean, I have replaced this cord. It's an expensive cord too. I've replaced it. I don't know how many times. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. I think we're good. I think we're good now. Yeah. Sorry about that, friends. Okay. So I'm going to tie this ribbon here in a square knot on the side. You know, the classic do as I say, not as I do. Why don't, you know, do this before you add it to your card. <laughs> I just was not thinking. Okay, we'll trim these down. I love this ribbon. By the way, this ribbon, it's going to retire at the end of April. I'm so sad. But guys, I highly recommend you get this before it's gone. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. All right, here's our sentiment, okay? I've added a couple dimensionals here on the end. And, you know, I think I'll put just, just a little bit of adhesive right there. And the reason I did that is this has dimensionals and this doesn't. So I only want dimensionals kind of going on this side, all right? And then I've got that little bit of adhesive that'll help me as well. And then we can add, again, optional, but we've got our little inside of our card. Just think of the color combinations you can do with this one. And guys, I use the um, Enduring Beauty from the uh, mini catalog, but you do you. I mean, this could be anything, all right? I just, do you see, okay, you've got to see how that uh, bubble bath embossed in the clear. So, so pretty. I hope that you guys like that one. Let's go ahead and we're going to create one more. And this one, I decided, hey, we needed a masculine card because we all struggle with those masculine cards. And remember that all I did was um, I took my um, sketch and I just turned it. Well, turned it and then flipped it. You guys got me. All the measurements are the same, all right? We just kind of change things up. So for this one, and uh, by the way, all the measurements, they're the same as the previous card. Um, I've just changed up the colors. So my card base is Early Espresso. And uh, these pieces here are Copper Clay and Crumb Cake. I have one thing I did different, okay? This little piece right here, this is a one by three, and that's for my sentiment. All right, so we're gonna do dry embossing on this one. And I'm going to bring in, let me find my folder here. Oh my goodness, where did it go? <laughs> okay, friends, I cannot seem to find my folder. It was here, but that's okay. You wanna know why? Because I'm the queen of working in advance. <laughs> I probably did this over um, on the other side of my desk and didn't bring it back, but I am going to show you. So let me just show you using this embossing folder, which you could also use. So we're going to take the copper clay. That was the, um, let me check the uh, two, no, forgive me, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And you're going to emboss it. Okay. I used a twisted rope, by the way. That's the one I use. Then I'm going to take the crumb cake, the uh, two by four and a quarter, and we're going to emboss that one. And then I did one more fun thing. So this is for the inside of the card. And let me tell you what I did. I just put it into my folder so that I just embossed here on the outside. Again, it just kind of gave it a little something, right? I loved that. I love that texture on the inside. So you can see I embossed here and I embossed here, all right? So it's a good thing I was prepared since I, well, I wasn't prepared, that was my problem, right? <laughs> Leaving my uh, embossing folder on the other side of the room. Let's do a little technique to this one. Um, I'm going to grab my early espresso ink pad 
And I didn't want to emboss the whole card in this. I thought it might be overkill. So let's have a little fun with an ink pad. Are you ready for this? You don't see a lot of this, okay? But it does give a little texture to the background. Being a masculine card as well, that works. It works pretty good. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it just... You don't see a lot of it, so we don't have to go crazy, but I think it looks really, really nice. Um, so let's put this card together. Um, as I just showed you, I took the two pieces and added them just like we did before, right? You've seen me do that. We're going to add the kind of more square piece to our card, okay? So you notice I'm kind of flipping things around. I've got dimensionals here, and I got smart. One, I didn't take the backing off. But we're going to bring in some copper clay jute. And here's what I'm going to do. I am going to wrap this. See, I've got a little spot there that doesn't have dimensionals. One, two, and three. I'm just going to tuck that under there so I can kind of grab it. And I'll be able to spread these out. You know, I can spread them out after I get it tied. And I'm just simply going to tie it once. It stays pretty good and tight. Let's trim this down. Okay, we're going to have some fun with this. One, we're going to spread these out just a touch. Well, got twisted. Why did it have to do that to me today? Okay. There we go. So we're going to take our little loose ends. <laughs> I can't find it. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So can you see how I kind of shredded them? So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. One, if you'll take the twine, make sure that's good, and, uh, or jute, I should say, untwist it. Okay. I just untwisted it. And what's going to happen is you'll be able to spread that into three separate strands. Okay. So it's three. Okay. Now I'm going to grab, if you don't have this, don't worry. You can, you can, um, you can still just kind of get in here and start to spread this apart. I like to just use my take your pick tool and kind of put it right in between there. And you're going to get all kinds of little fuzzies, but here's the thing. I think it works really well with a masculine card. So you can just kind of get in here. Yeah, see how it just kind of spreads it apart? So remember, untwist first. And now you kind of start at the base. And we're just going to kind of shred here like that. And then you're going to want to cut it down. Okay, get a little fuzzy there. All right, we will repeat that with the other side, okay? Now, I'll tell you what, let me just go ahead. I'm going to show you real quick how we're going to do this Father's Day piece. So I'm going to take this one by three. I'm going to tear one end, okay? Find my stamp here. So this is going to say, wishing you a happy Father's Day. By the way, this could be anything, but I found this in the He's All That stamp set. Um, and by the way, this one will be retiring as well. So if you like those masculine sets, let me tell you, this is a great masculine set. It really is. Okay, so there's my sentiment. And I thought, well, you know, let's add a little oomph to that. I'm just going to drag it across my ink pad. It's going to almost give it the look that... I have added it to, or added it to a layer, but I haven't. And see how we did that? So another little fun technique for you today. Oh, you know what? Before I put this away, let me go ahead and I'm going to stamp. It was right here. There we go. We'll stamp this. Also on the inside of the card. And... We are going to add our sentiment with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Of course, we'll add that to the center of our card. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this one in. So there, we've got it all embossed, everything done. 
fun little card. We did a little technique there in the background. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my first card. I hope that you guys were inspired by those. I think they are just beautiful. It's a fun little sketch. If you're ever struggling for ideas, sketches are awesome, right? They just kind of give us give us a jump jump off point, right? Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I know I usually share with you the cards for next week, and I don't have them ready for you yet. So <laughs> we will, uh, but I hope you'll join me. I'm sure it'll be amazing. All right. So yeah, we will be back again next Thursday with another live for you. So make plans to join me then. Hey, real quick, I just need to let you know that uh, two weeks from tomorrow is the Creative 8 retreat. If you guys have not uh, registered yet, don't waste any more time. We want you to join the Creative 8 team. That's Brandy Cox, Sharon Armstrong, Jackie Bullheis, and myself. We are going to be bringing you a weekend of stamping. I mean, who couldn't use a weekend to stamp? We've got tutorials, we've got projects, we've got uh, YouTube lives. It's really a fun weekend. At the top of every hour, we come, we bring you a really great project. You can follow along. You've got the written tutorial as well. It really is a super fun weekend. Do me a favor. If you have been to the retreat before, let everyone know there in the comments um, what you think about it. It's, it's going to be our 17th retreat. Guys, we've been doing this. Uh, it all started when the world pivoted, right? When we all had to stay in our homes, we started these events just to have a fun opportunity to get together. So you know what? That doesn't mean we ever wanted to stop. Uh, so, and it's a great way we all come together. Uh, there's lots of laughs, friendship, stamping, fun, and I hope that you'll join us. And with that, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and close. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate it. I love spending time with you every Thursday. Make it a great day. Make it a great week. Create a card. Send it to a friend. All right. With that, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.